you're not ready. What? You are so not ready. The old what? CJ would have known that it's, man, centennial, and I'm ready to go with the seven-footer. Mm. Now you're bringing out George Brown? Come on. I'm Carter Normand and I'm 21. I play for Algonquin College and I'm the shooting guard. I was in the rain waiting for these sunny days. Made it through, you can tell me I don't love this say. I've been playing basketball for eight years now and competitively for I think five. Leaving high school, like when, when we finished our senior year, I joked with people that I wanted to go play college basketball because like I didn't think that I could, you know, I don't have sheer athleticism or height or anything like that, but I told people like, oh, maybe I'll, if I end up going to Algonquin, I could. And my mom would hate to hear this, but part of why I chose to go Algon to Algonquin for school was because I wanted to play basketball here. She wanted my decision to be strictly based on school, but I don't know, I, I couldn't give up the game just yet. Like if I went to Carleton, I wouldn't be playing basketball right now. Same with Ottawa U. But, uh, but yeah, it, it was definitely in my mind when I was choosing to come here. And I didn't have no scholarship here at all. There was no like offer from Trevor. I had to come here and bust my ass to make this squad. That that tryout, that period of time of tryouts when I was trying to make this team was hell. Like every night, body sore, you're diving on the ground because there was 30 dudes in there that for like a three month training camp were trying to make the squad. We had a chance my first year to go far and it didn't pan out. And then last year, it was kind of like a rebuild year, like getting ready for this year. Cause like we lost all of our vets. I was one of the most veteran players on the squad and I was a second year. So like there was the learning curve for a lot of us last year where we were trying to, you know, flip the switch for this year. And uh, yeah, it was disappointing. Like last year we were in the, we were close in that playoff game at halftime. We were down by one to like one of the top teams in Ontario we lost the game but yeah it, it would definitely be disappointing to you know finish my career here and never have a deep playoff push where we have a chance to win a championship like that's that's what you play for right to win a championship and uh you know i want a taste of that for sure yeah uh it was our last preseason game last saturday and uh yeah, I was running back on defense, and uh, I can't even remember the play, what happened. I just remember trying to push off with my left foot, and someone's foot slid under mine, and when I put all the pressure down on my ankle, it folded and cracked all the way through like my cartilage in my, uh, in my ankle. And uh, I actually had that exact same injury, exact same situation last year, and I had to miss a game because of it and that was the most like excruciating game I've ever had to sit through like it's the only game I've ever had to not dress up in my college career I played every other game uh, that I've dressed for and I, I hated it like it's the worst feeling sitting on that bench and watching like your guys go out to war and not being able to help them at all it's like a helpless feeling like uh, I, I don't know, I can't really explain it. Yes, so they, that was working, which was okay. Yeah, like if you were like, ooh, that's like a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, I'd be like, hmm. But if it's very, like, minimum, like, I had a, uh, a physio appointment yesterday, and uh, when I first started talking to the, the therapist, I told her what I had been doing with my ice baths and, you know, like, working on my foot over the weekend and she was impressed because not a lot of people would spend their whole weekend, especially the first weekend of reading week, in an ice bath just sitting there icing their foot. But she told me that the, the stuff that I had done over the weekend is the reason why my ankle is doing so well. Like I, I got on it right away and because I did that, it's really healthy and I'm walking on it now and 
were able to start strengthening it as well. But yeah, she was happy with what I had done over the weekend for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an email from Probably yeah. this here? Yes, please. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much. I'll check you everything before I leave. Yes. Okay. It's super frustrating not being able to practice. Like, yeah, sitting there, especially when things aren't going well, when things are messy, like, you want to get in there and slow things down and you know make sure guys are doing the right thing and it's it's tough doing that from the sidelines just getting like the build up to the games that week of practice before before a game it's like it's intense guys are going hard and like there's just a different feeling like when you know you have like a game on the friday and you're practicing monday to thursday like and it's yeah i'm sitting here right now and i it's, it's getting at me, but yeah. We'll see if I can get back out there sometime this week. Don't want to rush it, but yeah. Definitely want to get back out there as soon as possible, even in practice. Docu-series, um, third season of the 67s, um, yeah, I don't know, I work on it whenever I have time away from school and basketball, which isn't much, like a lot of my work that I put in is during the hours of like 11 till 2 a.m. because I get back at like 11-ish from practice. Yeah, with uh, season three of, of my show with the Ottawa 67s, it's just finding new ways to bring people behind closed doors, um, you know, show them what it's like to be one of these athletes at a high level and, and what they go through as well. I just want to step up my game this year with, uh, with the third season and make it even better and you know, maybe have some people uh, from higher up in the industry notice it. That would be great. Tonight. Yeah, it's a really exciting home opener here for the Gulkland Wolves. I think both teams are going to try to come out, you know, with a bang and, and try to prove that they can do better than where they landed last year. You, you, you mentioned in the sixth and seventh position. I think both teams have really great potential to make, you know, strong runs. If I was at home, I would just be like, I don't know, I'd be losing my mind. I just want to be here, man. Like, they got some shifty guys that can, that can hoop. But if we do the right things that we, you know, like our coaches have been instilling us in practice and film, we can we can win this game for sure. But uh, yeah, no game is ever easy in this league. No matter what team you're playing, it's a battle, and 
you know, the East is going to be is going to be, you know, a tight competition where any night anyone could win really. He got heated up and we need to make sure he doesn't heat up. We got to just make sure we're out, we got to hand up, do the proper fundamental things we've been doing, closing out fine. If we don't close out properly, and how much closeout have we done, Mo, in the last fucking three weeks? If we're not closing out properly tonight, we're gonna get blown by. We go at these guys. They're coming after us. We go at these guys. Let's go now. Come on. Hey, this is game one now, man. Yes, if you can't get up for this shit, I don't know what to tell you. Let's go. One on three! One on three! Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's have a good one. Have a good one. There ain't no one like because of you, bummer, you crazy. There's no way you feel my team. I'm gonna go back to the office. 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 Shoot that. You good, Devontae? Bro, yeah. we're a fucking team. I said team. we're trying to score. Why aren't you? And then you said you had more points. But like, that's just bro, bring team or L down. Yeah, just told you. You're not playing tough. Marcia, we're, you are not playing any deep. You started off hot. You're doing some good things on offense, but you're killing us on defense right now. Like, I need you to pick up on this both ends of the court. Like, come on. Defense is our Achilles heel right now. They scored, what, 50 something? They're on pace for 100. They're on pace for 100 right now. Just be hungry, please. We are so much better than these guys. After five minutes, we're up to make up five. Another five in five minutes. But it all starts with defense. You gotta stop, guys. Help it, help it, help it. That's your help, that's your help. that they were supposed to be very evenly matched up with with the Wolves they absolutely blow out in a 110 to 62 game that is not what was expected going that's the most embarrassing game. shit that's ever happened to me in my fucking life I don't think we've ever had 110 scored on us in our own gym so that was new that was uh, something new for us I thought we were a better team than that let's go let's go Oh, yeah, I think we think so.